For full episodes as they air, listen to Grant's Rants Hollywood Talk on Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, and blogtalkradio.com slash Grant's Rants. Broadcasting from Hollywood, California, it's Grant's Rants Hollywood Talk. We're giving thanks for moments in pop culture, and we're ranting about what we're not thankful for. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills trailer drops, and well, yeah. We look at the current status of fall TV and examine Oprah's favorite things. A Thanksgiving panel assembles right here. Let the ranting begin from AfterBuzz TV and Reality T. It's me, it's Grant's Rants, and it's Grant's Rants Thanksgiving panel. And what a panel I have sitting in front of me to talk about everything from Oprah to TV and what we're loving and hating or thankful for and not thankful for at this point in 2017. So let's get started. Scott Moore has returned to the panel. Hello. Hi. Welcome back. It's good to be back. Good to have you. And on the other side of the table, it's Marissa Goodman. Sorry, fixing my posture. Hi, Grant. (laughs) So happy to be here. Thank you for coming back. Always happy to be with you. I I know you're prepared. You're ready to jump in. So prepared. Can't wait to cheat off my phone. Okay, and great. my friends. Yes. <laughs> and across from me is Sam Cart, never on the podcast before, but guest co-hosting today. Hello. That's right. Thank you for having me. Of course. Now, if Sam watches a lot of reality TV, he's a friend of the housewives, so we're okay with him. Right. <laughs> it's, it's safe. So let's get into it. I'm excited about the show. It's one of my favorites because it really doesn't, I don't have to do a ton of work on it. Like I feel like we just kind of vibe off of each other and I don't know what these people's favorite things or at least, that, you know, they're, they're, what they're not thankful for in Hollywood is. So it's really going to create a good, like buzzworthy on the fly conversation. So let's first, let's catch up real quick with one another. And um, I've announced over on AfterBuzz that I am leaving AfterBuzz, unfortunately, after like almost six years, but I am going on to a new job at NBC where I will be producing a podcast for their brand. So I'm really kind of excited about that. It's a new thing. I finally actually get to do this for a full-time salary. It's a great thing. So um, it'll be sad to leave AfterBuzz where I've been for so long, but I do kind of hope that I can pop up here and there. So we'll see. But um, I'm actually going to be able to really, you know, make this happen. So it's uh, I'm very thankful for this. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I wish that I got a thank you from the people I worked with. <laughs> um, they all left. They left for holiday break. And not one person knowing oh. when I was leaving bothered to say anything Stop to me. Stop it. Wow. You so didn't you get wanna, a bottle of wine or anything? You want to talk about real Hollywood wow. talk? Yeah. Stop. Two years, two years and not a thank you. Yeah. <laughs> this episode. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, not thankful for that. So, well, anyway, right that now. speaks to them, not to me. I'm moving on. So, bye. Yeah, good Love anyway, it. Yeah. Got it. So, uh, more than anyway. Down. So, uh, Scott, what's new with you? What do you want to talk about? Uh, well, I'm kind of, you know, same place we were when we, I think it was back earlier in the summer when I was here. Uh, same basic thing. I'm still at After Buzz here and there. Uh, more on the political podcast yeah. lately. Um, not so much TV shows. And I've been doing the same Trump report now. And before then, Hillary versus Trump for like a year and a half now. Uh, every single Tuesday Ooh. and then occasionally pop in and do a uh, political beat over there as well mm-hmm. which is right before and uh, we're doing a big year end political overview of everything that's happened oh the past year oh my god year. I'm so sorry I know Tuesday <laughs> <laughs> December 5th 6 to 8 p.m. so that'll be fun and then um, other than that, I'm still one producing those three travel shows still and yeah still doing it good for you getting close to wrapping season two for principal photography but the air um, on Saturday morning TV, I have to check lo- local listings. One show is called The Voyager, and that's on NBC. And then the other two are Ocean Treks and Vacation Creation that both air on ABC. Good for you. Oh, that's yeah, great. Staying very busy. I give you a lot of credit for willingly sitting in to talk about politics like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like contribute to that. God bless you. Yeah, it's, it's been a it's long a, year. It, it has been a very long year, and I still love to mm-hmm. troll all the uh, the people on Twitter. In fact, this morning I still had a bunch of uh, people write me back. Yeah. It's always fun to local, engage. The <laughs> local NPR station here had us. They had a thing where it was like, we're going through all of Donald Trump's tweets from the year. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, Who, and, and, who's paying to go to Seriously? <laughs> Who would want to do that I to know, themselves? It's horrible. 
I, I just can't imagine they're going to have an audience unless if it's like real, like far left, like people who just like want to laugh, I guess, at this How point. How high is everyone at that event? Right. Oh, I can't imagine. Not Would you ever want to? Not high no. enough. No. Maybe they get Morgan Freeman to read the tweets or something, <laughs> do something funny. They're going to need a, they're gonna need a pull in. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to need a draw for that. I don't know who else <laughs> want to do that. <laughs> oh, Sam, tell us, what's going on with you? Where are you coming from? What's happening? Oh, God. Well, I'm just living the Hollywood dream. <laughs> or nightmare, whatever you want to call it. Um, what's going on with me? I've been at World of Wonder for four years. I worked on RuPaul's Drag Race as the assistant to the heads there. And now I'm pursuing new ventures. Out and about? Out and world. about. And we'll see where I wind up. It's That's exciting. Good. New time. Yeah, fresh. Fresh, easy. Good. Mostly. Yeah. <laughs> and now, so fresh. So <laughs> fresh. Mainly fresh. I'm fresher, but. I don't know, fresh. you look pretty fresh. Yeah, it's good lighting. <laughs> it is good lighting. It's I a hope nice, so. I hope soft so. Soft light. <laughs> All right, Marissa, what's going on with the film? Oh, Grant, thank you so much for asking about the film. Um, you know, movies take fucking forever. <laughs> Feel free to bleep me out, but uh, it is. <laughs> I love it to death. It's like a child that is um, eating my soul, but I'm still loving it, tending to it daily. We're making a lot of progress. Good. And uh, also getting ready to do another movie in Cleveland, too. So nice. I know they love you over there. I know. Mm-hmm. I Cleveland people. What am I mm-hmm. doing in Los Angeles? <laughs> it's like I'm over it already. That's but great. things are good. Good. All right. Well, I guess we have some things to be thankful for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's nice. Let's get into... Whatever alcohol is in my coffee. <laughs> yeah. I'm grateful yeah. for it. I was like, yes, and working. Let's working get, is always a good thing. We don't need to love them, and we don't need to be thankful for them, but we're looking at <laughs> Oprah's favorite things. This list of Oprah's favorite things. I do love a good list on this show. Mm-hmm. And, you know, why not turn to... The mighty O to see what see who's paying her to put this stuff on the list. Right. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> exactly. Are these really her favorite? Okay, <laughs> let's think about this. There's 105 <laughs> things on this yeah. list. One of them being a podcast, and the other mm-hmm. just advertising her Amazon page mm-hmm. <laughs> with 20 percent off code word. Oh, right. <laughs> yep. Oh, I'm going to so. use that discount. You better believe it. Look, I don't have things sent to me all the time or anything like that, like at all. Um, but I couldn't even find 105 things within a 365-day period that I would love to promote and put my right. full self behind. So I don't know about Were this Were you list. not big on... I mean, I grew up on Oprah's favorite things. Like, well, I with my grandmother, we were like... Oh, it's on! It's it's on! It was a, a it was a tradition. So I'm very excited about this. Good. Also, good. like in general, following Oprah on social media is like one of my favorite parts of social media. Love it's her. like I feel an is intimacy. Yes, her. it's worth it. <laughs> I love it's this endorsement. Follow. Yeah, she needs it. So I just wanted to give her a shout. Yeah, she really she does. used to She's help. Getting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, going here. let's talk about it. First thing, we're each going to do one. We'll, we'll do a couple, but we'll go around. I'll stop first. Number 15 out of 105. I, I am so pissed by this. I can't even tell. The, I really am. This hum by Verizon is the most useless piece of garbage. And I'm just going to say it. So it's on it. She usually, it's usually things in quotes. Like she'll say, mm-hmm. oh, I can't leave home without wearing these boots. Deadman loves the look of the boots. No, she's always going, this, there's no quote. There's nothing by her. It's just literally by Verizon. Hum is the gift that keeps on giving you more confidence behind the wheel. It's the connected car system that assists and empowers drivers by helping them prevent and prepare for car trouble and stay safer on the road. Now, as someone who has been in many car accidents, one in which I wasn't even in the car, this would do nothing for me. This could be absolutely useless. And and all it is is for Horizon to get more money for a data plan. I'm convinced. Mm-hmm. This is not oh, an endorsement. You're so right. Let me be very clear. This is not an endorsement. Oh this God. show is not endorsed by Hum by, by Verizon. So it gives you vehicle diagnostics. No Oprah quotes. So it's not really endorsed. Not real. Yeah. Emergency assistance. Who cares? You get that with your insurance. Pinpoint roadside assistance. You have an iPhone or whatever. <laughs> I mean, pointless. Mechanics hotline. Really. Please. 
So well, one, unless they're like a hot mechanic, triple maybe. I get you know. But like, if you're <laughs> a different number, and I'll get that to you later. <laughs> My car is making noise when the air conditioning is on. How am I going to describe this over a hotline? <laughs> <laughs> this, I'm just can't even kidding. A hotline? <laughs> Hi, 1999. Yeah. Uh, do you have any ideas? This to me is such a plant. I'm so against this. I can't stand this. I don't like the commercials for it. <laughs> so I'm already pissed starting to look at this list, starting at number 15. Scott, what, what do you like? Because I'm, I, I got to stop talking about this. <laughs> Let's start going with what we like. Okay, well, because I'm getting old, I like the, I like the uh, reading sunglasses. I thought that was kind of a funky thing with all the different tints. Oh, and yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I'd love to read up by the pool. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, are we just doing one right now or are we doing we'll do, two? We'll, we're going to do a couple, okay. but we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll rotate around. I did like that because I am. I'm like, I'm starting to get to the low light where I can't read the menu. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, those are cool. It's uh, and they're only like $20. It's not a transition no. completely. Exactly. You are can they, read out by the pool and you yeah. have sunglasses with 400 UVF protection. Okay, oh, And good. it was only like 22 bucks. I was going to say, what's the cost? Because some of the cost much better because the cost, that was what was ticking me off, was the costs were like really expensive for most of these things. Yeah. For not like the everyday yeah. person. Right. These five hundred dollar, you know, cappuccino right. makers and all these other silly kind of things. That Wait, that was yeah. my favorite. Hasta <laughs> la vista yes. barista. Oh yeah, I love that. Do you want to make? Do, can you, do you imagine making foam designs in your own home? You should see my father. He kills it. He's really? his own barista. Yeah. Oh, good for him. Yeah. It's great. See, look at that. Just segued, I segued right there. To Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, I, th- I think it was six hundred bucks. I think yeah, it was five ninety nine. Yeah. yeah, it was very well, attractive. But I mean, yes. you know, I have a very small kitchen that I couldn't imagine featuring such a device in my kitchen. It was just the, the, I could 100% <clears throat> see that in your kitchen. But I don't drink coffee. Your face <laughs> is glam. It is. Yeah, but, but it gives the allure of oh, it, I love a cappuccino. It looks good. With yeah. It yeah. does. Studio G. It does look good. Yeah. yeah. No, it looks amazing. It should be for $600. My thing was when she basically put on there like, oh, when you have to go and go to the foamer after you make your coffee and everything, it just felt like, okay, come on, that's so over the top. Like, oh, I know. You know. Come on, your foamer that's like right next to your Oprah coffee maker. Over the top? I know. Never. Never. I'm like, where you now? Read this, this, she has. That she's supposedly. You think? Do you think she uses it? Or Is read it? anything that that was written? Oh yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Are you questioning Oprah's has, authenticity no. <laughs> right now? I'm having a hard time with that question. I, gotta, yeah, I know she has meticulously signed off on her branding for sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, Sam. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I like the Dutch Colonial Birdhouse, which is out of my price Oh, range. that was the one I didn't like. <laughs> well, I, I simultaneously hated it because there's no one that could... I mean, where are you going to put that, right? Oh, I know. I but do have a practical. pet bird. <laughs> that so is so practical. It would be practical, practical it would take up half my apartment. Yeah, so. well, once good snowstorm on the East Coast, that thing would that be thing ruined. Would fall down. Yeah. <laughs> is that an outdoors thing? Yeah. It's oh, outdoors. Yeah. I thought it was for inside. You could no. take it. You in. could technically, yeah. I'm it has just like nice. visualizing you it, having that in your nice apartment. Your cockatiel. It looks yeah. like a Georgian house. There's, yes. like, a, there's yes. like a railing it's going a around. It's a so I, I know people that birders and everything. And I think, like, okay, like that would be, but it just seems so ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I'm like, okay, just yeah. have a regular, it's especially well, it's when it's like outside. A, it's like, like a dollhouse. Yeah, for a bird. Yeah. So they poop while over yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, I think Poncho deserves that. He'd freak out. You think yeah. he'd well, freak out? So you have a bird? I have a bird, 19 <laughs> okay. years old. I'm single, studio apartment. <laughs> and I think he would freak out looking at that thing. I mean, it's not really inviting. If you know bird psychology, <laughs> oh, yeah. bird they're psychology. not going to want to go in that pointed, yeah. Two multicolor, plus multi-layered thing. It yeah. looks, you know, mm. it's scary. Yeah. Anyway. Well, what else? Uh, I'll go what next. Uh, so this thing, pure and simple. Foot <laughs> Nanny Home Fresh Linen <laughs> Gift Set. I love, I love having clean laundry. I love the smell of clean. Mm. So this is the quote that got me. Quote by Oprah. Everybody loves the smell of clean. How they got it in a bottle, I'll never know. The linen <laughs> scent of the shower gel hand soap and lotion developed by Gloria Williams, a.k.a. the foot nanny. I don't deal with feet, so I'm already turned off, though. Right. And it reminds me of slipping between freshly laundered sheets. I do enjoy, like, I love the smell of clean. Like, I'm always looking for, like, yeah. something to, like, take a nice shower that I enjoy. Like, and it made a nice presentation. There's a picture here, and they're in the very nice bottles. So if this am I buying this that? Nice. That was like bullshit to me. Oh no, this is a. Bad. I would want this as a gift. I'm not buying this, but I can sell. I'm buy saying, it am I buying the legitimacy of the of the product? Oh. You think fresh it's- linen sheets? 
Okay. No. That's like a Febreze in they're, a fancy mm, bottle in right. my... They're little so. bottles and they're $50. Yeah, see? $50. I'm saying for that little... Mm. You know, that's... But for... 20% no. off with what? Oprah. <laughs> All caps. Oh, Oprah. I feel like we're doing that awful segment of the gift, yeah, the gifts on the view. You know, oh my it's God. like Elizabeth Hasselbeck running around in a Santa hat. Like I can't. Like, even, I, I just can't. All right, what else? What's next on the list that you liked? Okay, the other thing I or did, not like. No, I don't the, care. The, the thing I also like was the the sorbet maker because it was only fifty dollars. And I thought, okay, that's a pretty practical gift. That's a steal. You know, yeah, like you could get the frozen fruits and make something that seemed at least a little bit healthier because I have a sweet tooth. And I thought, okay, well, $50, yeah. that's mm-hmm. not crazy compared to yeah. all the other things. So I did actually enjoy that. I thought that I could use that frequently, especially mm-hmm. in the summer. Can I say the most ridiculous one on Go the list? Go for it. Um, it's called Back to the Future Letters to Me When I Grow uh, Up. Yes. It's oh, basically yeah. a letter. Oh. It's a I piece of paper that they're yeah. selling. And how much does that cost? Oh, I, I didn't get that photo. Um, I'm overpriced, and I just thought it was the most mm. absurd thing I've... You're sending a letter to, to yourself, your, yep. and how are we ensured that... You're going to get the letter. So you're holding <laughs> on to a letter for your... It's just right. stationary. Yeah, stationary. You could write on a piece of paper. the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, what about the weird. silent night snore pillow for $299? <laughs> which is supposed to adjust you yeah. when you're snoring to no longer snore. I thought it was How like, it works. if you're in a bad relationship, like to gently nudge your partner. <laughs> no, That's like, what I thought it yeah, was. Well, it like adjusts it was to avoid your level. That. <laughs> So it's, yeah, so it you don't have to air. nudge your partner. Yeah. It does it for you. It's so passive aggressive. It's so passive aggressive. You don't even have to do it. It's, hundred, it's, it's hundreds of dollars. It's not like a cheap thing you can pick up at Target. It's yeah. like, you know, and it pumps air carefully to adjust your head. <laughs> yeah. Who came up with that? You gotta be really pissed have, off at your partner. Better problems. Yeah, like you're that. right. It's not the pillow. I'll tell you that much. It's a fuck you present. I know. I can't imagine anyone receiving that and being too thrilled that that's their gift. Either. Yeah. Yeah. You can't give it as a gift. You <laughs> yeah. just have to put it there. Yeah. yeah. And it's hundreds of dollars, so that right. might be someone's whole budget for someone. Exactly. Right. And what are you going to give after that? Mm-hmm. I don't know. A so. new car. <laughs> <laughs> so I love it. What yeah. else? What else on here? Well, I also didn't like the uh, the matching flannel pajama things. I'm done with oh that. Oh my god! We've Stop. seen it. Stop with that. Yeah, it's we've cute, seen it. like with little kids and everything. But when it's everybody, the family and the kids and everything, and she had that on their list too, and I was like, no more. Yeah, my was, grandmother stop divorced that. her first husband over that. Right? <laughs> See, I'm it's, serious. It can split yeah, yeah. I'm serious. I mean, it's cute with kids, but stop doing it with the whole family and everything. And, and what was the bandana? Oh, part the bandana of that? for the dog. I was like, oh, they even had for the dog. dog. I was yes. like, is that for the child? No. Like, it was oh, for kids are the so dog. hip; they have to have a bandana. Yeah. <laughs> There, ridiculous. Take this, that off the list. There was a lot of ridiculous stuff. This is how you know Oprah wrote this. This is how you know it's really her words. <laughs> oh, yes. The one with the hammock. I once bought a house because it had a hammock exactly. hanging in the yard. <laughs> A okay, friend of mine her said, friend. Yeah. A friend of mine said, mm-hmm. you know, you could just buy a hammock. <laughs> Anyway, this is a wonderful gift for someone to have, for someone with two strong trees with the need to relax. Mm-hmm. So for two hundred bucks, that was a yellow hammocks dot com. They have wow. these woven hammocks. That's literally yeah. the most ridiculous yes. thing I've ever heard. And again, it's the most overquilted I've ever heard. It, is a, nice it looks like your bird, actually. This is how you have to like live. Is, when you, you have to live in the country for this. You know, because you, I live in a apartment complex. Could you imagine me laying on a hammock outside? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I could never be comfortable laying in a hammock. I feel like it's like people are like, is someone in it? What's going on in there? You know what There's I mean? There's no like, graceful way to get into to get it. Or no. get out. Yeah. Get no. out of the hammock. They're the very body. attractive, yeah. though. They, they are, but again, it was not realistic when you're talking about buying a house around a hammock. No. That's Although I have to say, and I love Hillary Clinton said the same thing in her book. She was basically like, oh, we bought the house next door because we loved it so much. You know, we thought family could come stay. I'm like, that's not realistic for the everyday yeah. person. She could do no wrong. I know. I mean, like, she you know. Do no. Is that why she lost the election or no. should she have gotten bangs? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? What else on this Oprah's favorite things list? I'm having I like fun. The, the bottoms up lagging. It's just the title alone was. Uh, oh, exciting. yes. Those were on my favorite list, too. I was like, yeah. anything that you can do to make it look like I'm working out and then have spanks built in to make me look skinnier. I'm, I'm sold. Need it now. Sold. <laughs> sold. Wearing them. Yeah. I'm sold so that's great so people think i'm working out and then it looks skinnier when yeah what else that. um what else i just loved wait and see it was just like a little 
wear for your food. It wasn't a big deal. I thought it was practical, you know, oh, because yeah. people aren't already neurotic again. about their fucking food. So. <laughs> Let's make it even more neurotic. It's I know. More yeah. neurotic. I'm like <laughs> the queen of making everyone neurotic about how much food they eat. I had a trainer who told me I absolutely had to get one of those. He said, you have to weigh everything you eat. You have to know the exact uh, number of calories mm-hmm. and write it down. And that's when I knew I wasn't going to do it. No. No. <laughs> they said that to you? Yeah, I mean, exactly. you couldn't you? be in better shape. Give me a break. I mean, no. It was for me to gain weight. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about Shut up. I don't either. Yeah. I don't want to hear no that. No one's interested in no. that I don't want to hear about you having to gain weight. Okay. Yeah, let me, I can give you a few tips. <laughs> it won't involve weighing a damn no. thing. Well, be a lot more fun. Speaking of that, <laughs> Of weight gain, uh, raising the bar. I I could for fifty dollars, and they better be damn good for fifty bucks. Get a K and M extra virgin chocolate four pack gift box of all chocolates and the, the bars. And it says uh, uh, Oprah says the word according to Oprah. What do you get? When two culinary geniuses come together, true chocolate bliss, courtesy of two people I've never heard of. And um, (laughs) this is set as a pure antioxidant, rich, dark chocolate bar, a milk chocolate one and two dark milk chocolate blends. 50 bucks. Mm. Amazon.com slash Oprah. But there's no promo code for the 50 bucks. Maybe some of our kitchen staff trying to make a plug. (laughs) 100%. Absolutely. Well, there was a lot of food on there. There was a lot of food on there this year. I was like, like the chicken pot pies that were like $70. I love a good chicken pot pie. I do too. I was just talking about last night. $69 though. I'm like, come on. I would have an S&M bar. I don't know about a K&M bar. Um, Does anyone watch Super Soul Sunday? No. no. Occasionally on YouTube. Occasionally, if I'm ever up at that I time. mean, I was like, I need the first item immediately. Just like her Super Soul conversations. Mm-hmm. That's a practical gift. So if anyone at the table wants to get that for me for the holidays. We could listen to the nope, podcast, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, you think I'm not doing that? <laughs> I don't know if I'm thankful for this after watching it, but the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills trailer dropped this <laughs> after a long time. What are our first impressions? I put on Twitter that I I, I am speechless and not in a good way. Let's talk about <laughs> What do you think? God, I hope they're the first that you interview for this NBC. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to be crossing over into Bravo territory, which is probably best. <laughs> so did you I watch? Agree. I thought it was kind of dull, you know? Yeah. Thought, yeah. That's the general consensus, that it was boring. I just thought yeah. it was boring. It was boring. They're going to more places, I guess, this season. Um, I actually, I, I thought they were trying to, like, groom Eden Sassoon to be on this season because of how they kept bringing her on last right. year. And yeah. I was like, oh, well, I guess they didn't bring her on. No, they got rid of her. Yeah. She was the first to know that Who's she wasn't going to Yeah, I knew, yeah. Teddy. <laughs> Teddy is the yeah, new Teddy, woman. Yeah, Teddy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how she I feel about that. Is this the lingerie one? I, designs lingerie. Uh, like she's oh, like no, a lifestyle. Life was, coach. I think that was yeah, that was Dorit that's trying to do yeah. all the fashion. Oh, yeah. Teddy stuff really, season. honestly, wasn't really in it. Too she much. wasn't really in it. Okay. No. Yeah. Camille but, was in some pictures. I saw things. that. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, good for her. Like, she looked good. Yeah. Like any good um, critique, I have to start with the positives, which are. Like Scott said, it looks like they're traveling, and Camille was walking in the promo. And that's, <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, and that was the part. I was like, okay, they're going to Berlin and Tokyo, and you know, they're getting around. So, um, right, yeah. it's I, it's like I I really have to come to terms with Beverly Hills as look, this is going to be a show that's about lifestyles. It's not a be not going to be about drama. That's it. It's like some of these shows they mm-hmm. ebb and flow, and this one is just not going to be that that dramatic show i think this is going to be the one that you watch to see money be spent right and see all the fancy yeah. stuff and their yeah. fancy cars and their you know right. their lifestyle which is and fine if you do themselves i mean it does mm. seem like they continually yeah do themselves which mm. is impressive yeah it's, it's fine right. if they order like 12 episodes but if it's like 26 weeks right. of just following people around spending money I have better things right. to do. And then that forced I don't uh, know drama. if I do. The forced drama, you know? <laughs> yeah. Do you watch Beverly Hills? I mean, that's the only Housewives that I'm really invested okay. in. I did go to high school with Kyle's daughter as oh. a name drop. Um, <laughs> I think that they're, like, fun. I don't know. They're, like, drag queens for me. Like, it's... Yeah, like, they are. It's just, like, who doesn't want to look like that every day? There's another no restaurant coming to my neighborhood, by the way. Lisa Vanderpump's opening 
a oh. new one next to pump mm-hmm. so get ready next to what is mm-hmm. it next to bottega or the other yeah. one okay mm-hmm. so it's that one what so it's called like dag dag or some stupid mm-hmm. Just dag as dag as you can get a pump tanny there I'm okay sure you can. no shout out to anyone who played the sims but dag dag means goodbye in the sim you love the sims uh-huh. So I don't know what the hell she's it, doing with that. I don't know. I'm sure she doesn't know. She doesn't know. And then some just told, gave her yeah. name. I also think they're like, totally yeah. wrong about the name. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Tag, tag. Is there a different You're language in The Sims? Yeah. Yeah. Simo- Simish. Simish. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Simoleon. I was like Sim. Yeah. Too Simoleon. bad I was not a 13 year old boy ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just like this season. I, I don't know. I, I look forward to it, but. I don't, it looks like more of the same for me. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to write the show off as it is exactly as it appears. Right. I'm not going to wait for something to go crazy. Yeah. Or I think it's just exactly what we saw. It's going to be you know, getting in jets, traveling, mm-hmm. you know, the Lisa Vanderpump. I mean, the highlight of the thing was Lisa Vanderpump drove off in a car. Yeah. I remember <laughs> Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So um, that being said, at least it's not a promo full of fake manufactured drama. Right. We've had plenty of We've that. Had enough. But that's what I think it's going to end up being once the show gets going. Because that's, yeah, the only yeah. thing to keep people interested besides yeah. the over the top like lifestyle. Dorit has a new look. Um, <laughs> Caesar, they, they resurrected Caesar the Dog Whisperer. We oh, haven't heard of God. him for a while. But I thought yeah. that he was like had charges I against him for abuse of animals. Yeah, so I was that's shocked I was, that I was, he made it. I was surprised by that yeah. too. Yeah. Actually. When I saw that, I was like, Oh, yeah, I thought he had some issues. Mm-hmm. And Trying to rehabilitate himself now, apparently. I guess. Through That's Beverly a Hills good Housewives. plug for mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he deserved that. I don't know. And, of course, Boy Trimmed. George, for anyone interested, mm-hmm. is yeah. coming back. <laughs> I did enjoy the moment when they hit themselves in the face with the microphone. I thought that <laughs> yeah. was great. It was in the teeth, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one's given a blow Dorit job. really seems like she's trying really hard to be this new, like, hip, young mom, businesswoman. Yeah. Her hair. And now she's like, I'm going to do my fashion line. And she's, yeah. she still has her accent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the accent like we have Erica no idea Jane where it's from. Sushi and saying it's slimy, slimy. like she's never tasted yeah. a fish before. But it's, it's hard. You know, it's been around now since 2010. So it's kind you know, just like Real Housewives of Orange County. I just was so bored this season. And mm. I watched that from the very oh, yeah. beginning. Yeah. yeah. And it's hard because these shows have now gone on so long that how do you keep them fresh and interesting? Right. It's almost like they should just move on and rebrand, uh, you know, in other locations and try to start some new ones. Well, Ooh. I know that fans are really disappointed with this because they feel like everyone, like you said, like suffered through Orange County this season. Mm-hmm. So like they just don't need another bad season. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's like, tough. Kind of like Hold take it out of its York. misery. <laughs> I, think New York. I, have, I have faith. I want New York Bethany. to be back on too. Yeah, yeah. I do too. I just I have a hard time with Atlanta because <laughs> I just too. think it's very set up. It is so set up. I can't even watch it anymore. It just feels so so yeah. fake now. Yeah. It's like mm-hmm. okay, that's what I'm saying. Some of these just need to be taken out of their misery at this point. Um, and I thought Dallas was much yeah. better this season. But. Yep. Well, that's what happens yeah. when you have a fresh show and you don't have people yeah. who have been on for seven seasons <laughs> and with exactly. high expectations of contracts. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I will only show my business, but mm-hmm. I'm never going to show anything in my house. I'm only going to have one party. I mean, ugh, it's like, really annoying. <laughs> it's it's such, very such annoying. Such first world problems. I only have one party. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm getting, I'm the highest paid person. Yeah, but don't expect me to do anything. Two hours a week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Full hair and makeup. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's just a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, let's take a look at some fall television and the status at this point. What are we watching? What's gone? What has been picked up? Oh, do we have to? <laughs> no, oh my god. <laughs> I like to give a little progress report. I like to, and I also like to see what other people are watching and uh, what's sticking around. So. I guess I'll go first. I um I'm still watching Dynasty. Has anyone looked at that on the CW? I want to. I yeah, I want so to bad. because it I watched the original, so but yeah. it looks so bad. But then again, the original Dynasty was terrible. And it's, it's like terrible Gossip the Girl way. in the best way. I know. Yeah, yeah, it's too glam, yeah. but not not real grit glam. It's not like it doesn't feel right. It feels like CW. Frosted it over. Yeah. That's true. It, my mom was so loyal to the one on CBS. Yeah. If you right. had invested all that yeah. time in Dynasty and then the way it ended, yeah. after eight years, 
I would have been really pissed off as a fan who had watched it from the beginning because yeah. it was just a terrible ending for anyone that had invested all that time into it. Mm. Well, she's just upset with this one, too. I mean, she's just, like, really not into well, it, but she's still thing. watching. But I'm, like, it's making her watch so we have something to talk about. You but know rehashing I mean? old, you know, shows is just... It's just... And you get yeah, just you can't inspired. come up with a new know. idea. And after yeah. that much time, it's a different... It's not going to be the same right. thing. Totally I'm, different actors. Different like, show. Yeah. I really yeah. wanted uh, Dynasty to get the same treatment that Twin Peaks got. Like, a Big right. budget, Huge you know, budget, it's like yeah. it's the same type of level, maybe even a little mm-hmm. bit higher exactly. than what it was. Right. Dynasty That's is it's kind of s- yeah, it's kind of sad that they wrote it off as like here we're gonna make this like a young CW yeah. show. Yes, yes, exactly. That's mm-hmm. why I haven't watched it. I'd be curious to kind of see how bad it is, but haven't taken the time. It's yet. okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's no Desperate Housewives. It's it's okay. I'm enjoying it. Because I was just dying to get into something new that was scripted, and that was one of the only shows that really appealed to me over there. So I don't watch any of The Flash or any of that. I don't care about any of that. I'm so. sorry. I can't remember the last time I had the CW on. I don't either, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't do. I do, you know, like uh, Big Little Lies. I can't wait. There you go. I know. That's my show. Big Little Lies. I know. We talked about that last week on this show. Oh, good. So what else? Um, what else are you watching? Loving nine JKL. Are you kidding? I may be the only reason that they have a three episode continued order. Because of you. <laughs> it's me and my friend Keith. It's just us. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, it's uh. Linda Lavin. It's so bad. I I mean, I just love it. It's like the trailer for it was the only good part of the show, and now it's just like really drawn out. But Mark 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 Fjordstein is like a babe and like yes, I want good <laughs> it's like this show is bad and I think that like we just want good things for mm-hmm. him and that's why the show continues but I mean I enjoy it as a Jew I'm loving it I, <laughs> I love a good but um bum like and no one delivers it better than Linda Lavin like mm-hmm. and Elliot Gold not wearing pants like Okay, sign me up. <laughs> I, it's, I will admit I watch a lot of really bad TV just if there's some hot guy in there. I mean, I will totally admit really? it. Oh, God, it that's be the most worst of my thing, day. Yeah. That's like, it could be the worst thing ever, but if they're good looking, I'm like, I will tolerate anything. Just, <laughs> shirtless, if they're, you know. Did you watch Passions on NBC, the soap opera? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> well, I probably would have, though, just, yeah. yeah that I mean, that's all that it was. Yeah. Uh, what else? What, what are you watching? Yeah, Will and Grace, I think, is one of the rare ones that did pick up and actually has done a good job. Yeah. Um, because I was really worried about that one, too. Just, mm-hmm. again, it's just yeah. like rehashing old things and it was just getting old and tired, but I think they've done a really good job so far on bringing They've really back. modernized it. But just yeah. kept it, yeah, but yet kept it similar enough, but yet to, you know, right. what it's like today. So I think they've yeah. done a good job with that because I was, yeah, I was definitely worried about that. I watched that Me, Myself, and I oh, trailer. God. I mean, no, the pilot. That's what I was saying. I looked at it. I can't. I can't. Mm-hmm. It was like, How? does Bobby Moynihan become John Larroquette? <laughs> Anyone? I, I have a thousand dollars if you can yeah. answer that question. <laughs> Good. Yeah. This exactly. guy, I mean, they have a foot height difference Everything between the different. two of them. It's just the no. worst casting. It is. <laughs> well, it's not looking good. In fact, good. E says the future is not looking so good. Yeah. <laughs> it says with the network choosing to bump up the premiere of Man with a Plan second season to replace the low rated myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I saw some of these shows. I'm like, I, I don't. Know who yeah. Man are, with so. a Plan. That's with Matt LeBlanc, right? I feel like I just saw is that, that. that show. Yes, He's on and that show? it's a second season, correct? I or is it just right. coming out? I was like, who knew? I know. I don't. I who knew? I haven't even heard of it. It is the show. second it season really now. Bad. So it's been on. Apparently, all 12 plus episodes have already aired. Who the knew? four of us yeah. do not know. Yeah, um, 10 Days in the TV. Valley. Oh. This is the first show that really kind of got the unofficial. Yeah. Was that the Kira Sedgwick? Yes. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. There's your answer. Yeah. Yep. He said it failed to connect yeah. with ABC's viewers on Sunday nights, with the network choosing to burn off the remaining episodes Saturdays, on Saturdays. Which is the, yeah, terrible. What? First of all, they do that? Mm-hmm. I don't want to spend 10 minutes in the valley. I'm not spending 10 days. Well, yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah no, it's definitely. No, but it's about a child being abducted. Like, mm-hmm. that is too freaking serious. Like, people people aren't checking for that No, that's what like People want escapism because we already are we're living in yes. crazy times. We want something that's totally escapism. Nobody wants to watch something. That, and that's the same thing. What's the uh, John Berthold, the uh, new one on Netflix that was really violent? And, um, I don't know. Uh, I can't think of it right now, but I'm sure so I, I can look it up. But that was kind of the same thing. Like, it was so gratuitously violent, and it's sort of like the whole thing was like, okay, well, it's too much. People 
don't want to see that right now. Yeah, I don't, want I don't have any escapism have and a Handmaid's Tale. I had to turn off. It really? was too yeah. real for me. Well, that's real. Yeah, yeah, I, still, yeah. I haven't finished that yet either. <laughs> I should probably I try that. I know. I just know it's going to be. That's it's, part of the thing is I know it's going to be get really intense. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I need that either. But yeah, but no, no surprise. Great. I mean, ABC Sundays have been a mess for like the last like yeah. nine plus years. I mean, there's really not much going on. <laughs> well, network so. TV in general, there's really not a lot of good stuff out there's there. Not, anymore, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. especially this this season, there's just not a lot of new like breakout hits. That's true. Except for young Sheldon. Like, oh, oh my. Can we get a break? Oh, I, stop. I do want to see. Sam! No, I know. I'm, I'm curious. Well, I, part I mean, of my I thing was like, I think they should have waited till after this, after. Uh, 20 seasons of Big Bang. Yes, after yeah, Big Bang after was the 20th done. the anniversary. Big it is <laughs> wrapped and done, then bring that on. It's just too weird to have them back to back, too. On, and know, like, oh. Those diehard fans. Yeah, I know, but it's still, it's like, wait until after this show is done. Yeah. And we can bring it back to let people be excited about it and put it in that same time slot. That and show. That was silly to have both on there at the same time. It premiered yeah. to 17.2 million viewers. I mean, duh. It's after Big Bang. Big Bang I'm yeah. like, there's no. There's Anything no surprise. Bang, Anything. Yeah. 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 We were saying on this show when we were looking at Fall TV a few weeks back that none of us watch Big Bang. We think no. that it's people who my perhaps mother. are not yeah, I was gonna in say, the my, Hollywood yeah. scene. Yeah, no, it's definitely people not in the Hollywood scene. It's Especially. definitely targets an older audience. I mean, it, you know, CBS targets I mean, an older audience already. But. It's multicam. Like, yeah. there's something. It's like an old friend. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I I love multicam, but like, Maybe too. this is a tired old trick. Like, we're done. It I think, works, though. It, it does still, work. It, it works, works in that's part of the on. country. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I think it works really well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's been on forever. Yeah, for that very reason. People yeah. love that character. Mm-hmm. It's the only real show that was, like, officially picked up. The shows that are renewed or are that we're getting more of, whether we want it or not, ABC, Dancing with the Stars. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, I was ABC, like, I don't watch that either. Yeah, ABC, Michael the Goldbergs. Listen. I do love Wendy... Oh my god, she's the best. She I is. live for her. Yes. Modern Family, someone's still daring ABC to keep that around. I just, yeah, <laughs> they need to, yeah, put that up, please. Just, it's time. Is it's it time. still funny? I don't even know. It's like, time. I still watch it here and there, but it's just yeah. not. I know. I pick it up here and there. Yeah, I'm like, why do I watch no. this? It's just. No. no, it's time for that to go. Yeah, it's overstayed. Uh, but yet the middle's going. Like, okay, that's fine, but maybe you should send them both out. Yeah. Um, mm. CBS oh, renewed the Big Bang Theory. That's it. <laughs> Nothing else so far, but, it, well, Young Sheldon, that's not. I thought exactly the Big Bang correct. Theory was uh, Big Bang it's Theory was on its last season, season this year. Oh, I don't know. They're like, no, nope, we've got yeah. it. Not. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I really yeah. did. I it'll thought it'll never go. To tell. I really thought it was, it was wrapping this season. <laughs> oh well. If you're watching the CW, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they have, they have nothing channel, picked guys. up, but the Dynasty did get a full season pickup. And what's looking good is Arrow, DC Where, Legends yeah. of Tomorrow, The Flash, Riverdale. Supergirl and Supernatural. No, no, no none of all those. No, but no. I see how they target certain people that love yeah. that kind of stuff. So I'm not surprised by any of that. I'm glad they found their footing though yeah. over there. But yeah, I mean, it, it, with what Dynasty in the this? mix, I don't see how no, if their no. audience is Arrow, they're not going to watch Dynasty. No, they're not. It's like like 15 year old, yeah, Midwestern, mm-hmm. maybe, absolutely, yeah. Fox renewed Hell's Kitchen, which I didn't know it was still I on. I had I didn't no know it was idea. still on either. <laughs> the Orville, which is uh, not oh, a show God. for me. No, thanks. And The yeah. Simpsons, of course. Of surprise. course. I'll be on forever. I have to say, <laughs> no, I've been watching the new season somehow, and it's still, it's funny. No, it's still, I, I still it's watch still The Simpsons. I, I mean, it's, it's ha- it definitely has its moments, and I still, it and does. I like Bob's Burgers. I'll watch that, too, because I think sometimes it's really funny. And But, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. The Simpsons is going to go on forever. Old. Yeah. NBC has renewed This Is Us, The Voice, yeah. mm-hmm. and Will and Grace. Yeah, so. again, no surprises there. No, no yeah. surprises. So. I'm happy about Will and Grace, okay? I'm happy about No, I'm too. Happy. And I, 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 like I said, I, I was really worried about it coming back because I always have yes. that fear, when, especially when you bring back a show uh, after it's had its time, it doesn't always work. You know, totally, sort of the same yeah. thing like, you know, Roseanne and all like, all these other shows that are trying to come back. It's like, it's been way too much time. But I think they were right on that cusp where it hadn't been too long. Right. Where they could all still look like themselves. And God, they, they kind of, look so and, good. And they could still pick up where they left off and still do kind of the biting humor. But it wasn't quite, you know, too long. Because I think yeah. if it had been a little bit longer, it wouldn't have worked as well either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, some things only fit in a certain And they probably period. all needed the work. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we return, we're going to be sharing what we're thankful for and not thankful for in pop culture of 2017. So get ready for more. We've got some good categories coming up. So get ready. We'll be back in a moment. Now this. You're listening to Grant's Rants. Subscribe and spread the word. There are a lot more rants to come. Listen anytime on all major podcasting platforms. And now, back to the show. And we're back ranting with Sam Cart, Marissa Goodman, and Scott Moore. <laughs> Let's talk about things in the pop culture that we are thankful for we'll start with the positive oh. why not mm. uh which scandal <laughs> are we most thankful for this year i'll go first why not um mine is a tie bill o'reilly being fired yeah mm-hmm. so thankful for yeah. that yeah, uh, yep. needed to happen yes uh and it was a big blow to fox news so that's good yeah and um, and I love a good feud. So Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj, I enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> Nicki Minaj enjoyed is that. always good in a feud too. Like it's just. Oh just, yeah. Well, I'm Team Remy. I'm Team that. Little Kim. I'm loyal yeah. to Kim to the end, yeah. to the end. But <laughs> when it comes to uh, Nicki Minaj, I mean, yeah. she she'll do anything. She'll she do. Will. I said on the show, she'll be featured on a track with Barney the Dinosaur to do a track. Like she's. There's no <laughs> shameless. There's yeah, True. shameless. There's no um like as an artist, there's no like threshold of like mm-hmm. what I won't do. You know what I mean? Right. So whatever. But I'm very thankful for both of those feuds. Well, the feud and I think more than anything, just Bill O'Reilly oh, being yeah. taken down a Absolutely. notch. So. Yeah, oh yeah, that was definitely great. That's yeah. definitely on on my list for sure. The Bill, anything that you know, knocks him down a few because he's yeah, he's just a blowhard. Anything? Any other scandals? Person. Well, I, you know, I know it sounds weird, but I think it's important with all the sexual harassment things that have come out because I think we've reached a tipping point. Mm-hmm. So for me, even though it's it's horrible to see how widespread it's been across all industries and we've known yeah. it's been there, but it's even more than I even thought. I think it's just really important now that hopefully we've reached a tipping point in our society that's no longer going to be accepted on, no matter who you are, mm-hmm. no matter where you are. Because we've had too many things where powerful people have been protected. Mm-hmm. And I used to have it with a friend. And, and this was years ago. And I was always surprised by it. She had a, a talent manager. And her manager was blatantly harassing her. Mm-hmm. But the fact he brought in so much money, when she went to tell you know his boss, essentially, they basically brushed her aside and was like, no, he brings in a lot of money. Just, you know, just ignore yeah. his advances. Yeah. And it was things like that where I thought, you know, people have been going through that women have been going through that for so long and so I think I'm hoping that this will bring a big like wholesale change to our society totally. that we're no longer yeah. going to accept that kind of bullshit anymore mm-hmm. and yeah. protect yeah. people of power too. yeah it's yeah. it's it's a lot it's bittersweet yeah it's like sad yeah. to think how yeah. widespread it is but the thing that I'm thankful for is that it's finally coming to the, the hope of uh-huh. and that of all of this and that it's no longer going to be accepted and that people are not going to put up with this this bullshit anymore because that's what it is it's horrible it's disgusting it's wrong and hopefully this will now make some real changes to yeah. to people in our country. So, Marissa, that was yours? That was mine. I mean, I think I, I'm grateful that it's... I just remember when the Harvey Weinstein thing came out and people were like, oh, my God, I had no idea. I'm like, you had no, no idea? idea? Yeah, like, we've been living right. with this. I'm like, that's... That's the normal. And I'm, like, very progressive as a person, mm-hmm. and I've accepted that to be, oh, that's how the industry mm-hmm. runs. And it's, like, it's very cool to see that paradigm shifting to be, like, well, that's what it was, but it doesn't have to be that way. Mm-hmm. So I think that's very cool. Um, also, I'm very happy about uh, Bob Mueller and the mm-hmm. Russia oh, investigation. Oh, yes, very Speaking thankful for scandal, Mueller. Yes. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's get my scandal. popcorn out every night to watch <laughs> that shit. I know. I, sh- I wish I owned a popcorn company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You'd be killing be, it right now. I could retire. <laughs> it's just so good. It's so the much drama good. Yes. that keeps giving. Yes. Yes. Very thankful. Very thankful for that one, too. Absolutely. Sam? Oh, that was mine as well. I mean, the the Hollywood harassment. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, um, I can think of a few producers who I'd like to peg <laughs> for that. But um, Abby Lee Miller going to prison is 
another great gift. I, she's, she was such a thug, and like the fact that she's behind bars is just you know you get what you get. That's and true. Totally. That karma totally. totally. comes back. That jerk. That <laughs> jerk. Total jerk. I can't yeah. wait for her to come back. She thinks she's gonna walk back oh, into yeah. her career. Nope. Good luck. Oh, no. yep. nope. She's Marcus gone for too she's long. Done. Great time. Done. 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 Mm-hmm. So, and rightfully deserved. Yep. Celebrity or celebrity couple. Um, I am. I. I <laughs> I'm thankful for uh, Lindsay Lohan's Instagram. I like her stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I don't know if you can call them a celebrity, but I'm I'm very thankful for the housewife Leanne Locken of Dallas. I really like her. <laughs> and we, we vibed, and you know she was was really great to us during the panel over at Afterbus, yeah. and she invited us out. And I don't know, I just I've I've a certain allegiance to her, and I'm, and I'm thankful nice. to her. She's she's yeah. she's good people. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is Kim and Kanye. Oh, I just yeah. started binging the Kardashians <laughs> starting from season one. I've made it up to eight. Never too late. <laughs> their love, I believe it. I have to say. <laughs> I know it's, it's embarrassing, Kanye. but I believe in it. I think it's real. So nice to see a power couple <laughs> still. Uh, nice. It's really reassuring. Who else are they going to be with? Really? Who else themselves? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Who else is for them? Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving Chloe and Tristan Thompson. I'm like, who the hell is that? I don't even know. I don't even know who he's that is. a I'm Cleveland so Cavaliers behind. player, and they are like, she just loves power. her basketball players. <laughs> she does. So, okay, she has a type. Yeah. She may have a type. I think they all have a type. <laughs> yeah. But I just think they're she like really fun, and they look really happy together, and it's nice and normal. Quote yeah, I, I, yeah mm-hmm. I guess it's, it's all relative. Yeah. 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 And going back to you before we move I don't on. Know. Yeah, that's a tough one because I just I, I the whole couple thing. It's just like here and there, you know. Oprah and like, Stedman, <laughs> just year after year, I, turning it in. Okay, I know, but it's horrible for me to Honorable say that. Mention. But I'm like, when is she going to just talk about Gail? Come on, <laughs> right. her or Gail? This whole Stedman know, thing. Yeah. Okay. This whole Stedman thing. Because even when she had the whole thing about the 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 fire lighters and everything, she's like, oh, Stedman loves us. I'm like, come on, girl, stop playing around with the Stedman thing. Just talk about your relationship with Gail. And move on. <laughs> yeah. So I would be I waiting for her to admit. Think. Okay. Talk about that. Smart. I will mention. Yeah, I'm thankful for Oprah and her her two two both ways. <laughs> so glad that uh, Justin and Selena are look like they're coming back together. Oh, uh, uh, It's me like a I just lot don't care. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem with the celebrities. I'm like I don't care. I, know. I don't care. I know. Because it's just post Brangelina nothing matters. Nothing else matters. I gave up on know. hope and That's what love. I'm saying like the long lasting love is just mm-hmm. I just don't see it. I mean, TV unless you can be talking about Dolly Parton, you know, <laughs> she still keeps her husband around after fifty-three years, and he never well, talks, and she's still. Let's see him. what she looks like. <laughs> I'd love to see what he looks like. <laughs> I'd be curious. Yeah, I don't she's know, kept her around I forever. Know, yeah. TV so shows cute. that we're thankful for. Um, for me, even in the same line of Housewives, I'm really thankful those Dallas Housewives because. OC was tough. I've had a hard time with Housewives. I really enjoyed too. Dallas. It delivered a lot. It for me. was so much better this year because I was actually worried about last year. I thought, oh, it's on the bubble. It's not going to come back. I yeah. wasn't quite sure. Um, and I felt like this season was so much better. I really, really, really enjoyed it too. And I actually just finally finished up the, the second uh, reunion last night because yeah. I was a little bit behind. But yeah, I have to agree with that too because I was so disappointed with OC. It just felt so tired and boring and just. Mm. Nothing interesting, and the, yeah. the whole thing with Peggy and all that is like, oh. I want so to tired. love the so Housewives. Tired. I want to love the, the shows, and I want to look I forward to watching them. And I really only loved and looked forward to watching this one. Dallas. Yeah, same. I, so, I have to say the same thing. I was kind of I just the other ones have just current gotten so, memory anyway. So tired, yeah. Recently, and I yeah. just don't know how they can keep OC going. And I haven't seen Dallas, but New York is still. I mean, <laughs> New York's pretty good. Yeah, no, New York is too. The yeah. reunion. But that's about I it. it. Yeah. What are you thankful so for in, in television? Uh, well, I really do. As, as far as network TV, I still love This Is Us. I think they've done a really good job with the writing. There were a few things that were a little hit or miss compared to season one. But I feel like, you know, overall for network TV, it's really good. I was thankful yeah. that Curb came back because I had yeah. been missing it for so long. And I hate that he has so much power because I think, when is that ever going to be back again after the season? Because it ends in a couple weeks. Um, I still want the comeback to come back speaking of because I love that Please. show so much. It's so good. Except, um, what's his name? Long. The makeup artist passed away, and it's so sad oh, yeah, because he was such a good part of that show. But, you know, that's another one I'm like, when are you going to bring that one back? Um, is the comeback having a comeback? Yeah, so that's what I always say, too. Again. Is the comeback coming back because, like, Curb. But, you know, it's like, yeah. he, the thing with Curb is, like, you never know if it's going to come back again. So I really try to enjoy it while it's on because I've... Try to be thankful because I never know when it's going to be back or if it will or if it will come back in 10 years from now. Yeah, that's like me with Arrested Development. 
Probably. And Arrested yeah. Development, yeah, same yeah. thing. Yeah. Which can be very hit or miss. Yeah. But mm-hmm. Sam, what about you? What are you thankful for in television? TV? Well, <laughs> um, I mean, in, in reality TV, The Housewives of New York, still. Yeah. Bethany, just, I just love her. Hate her, but <laughs> love mostly her. love her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Beverly Hills. Uh, what else? The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> I would never guess that you watch The Simpsons. Never mind. Be thankful. So thankful for them. Thankful for them. You know, they're funny. They are funny. <laughs> they still, yeah, they still have it. I mean, they, they, they go a little out there sometimes now. Yeah. But mm-hmm. they've done a great job, too, with those those couch intro scenes now. Oh, they're yeah. just like... That's my favorite. Like, what are they going to do now? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I am thankful for MSNBC and Rachel Maddow. <laughs> I'm thankful for the whole block of them. I just am like... That's it is the best thing on television. I'm really grateful for smart journalism uh, that Mm -hmm. isn't afraid to critique what's going on. I think it's so important. I also had the flu last week and watched uh, the Great British Baking Show, (laughs) which I love. Yes, and I think that's why I've gained a little bit of weight this week. (laughs) I've just been like, oh yeah, that pastry looks good, and then like. I also watch Shit's Creek. I'm not sure if you've ever watched that, uh, but I just am like so, yeah. such a crush on Dan Levy, Eugene Levy's son. Is he guy? Yes, very, yeah, very. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Catherine O'Hara on that show is wearing like four different wigs at the same time. It's just she's amazing. It's a good she time. She's amazing. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. absolutely amazing. As far as okay. film goes, I'm I really don't go to the movies except I went last night for the first time since I saw La La Land. Uh, Where? Oh, oh. Uh, saw, saw, I didn't I say it for a second. Yeah. It really well, has been a long time since you've gone to the movies. I saw a movie called Cook Off last night, which is not new. Mm. Uh, whatever. Uh, and then, so I, I really can only be thankful for La La Land since that's the only movie I watched. So, um, <laughs> so thankful for Lady Bird. I just, mm-hmm. as a woman, as an independent mm-hmm. filmmaker, like more movies like that, just really strong storytelling, really powerful women like really intelligent characters great writing yeah i tried to see it actually last night myself but i couldn't because the movie pass system was down so i was like oh, i can't go see no. it so i tried to see it last night too um, i'm excited but thankful for the films this time of year because now we're getting into the really good stuff with the yeah. oscar contenders and so you know that there's going to be some good stuff coming up over the next few weeks um that i'm very excited about i saw florida project Oh, how was Which it? Which was good, but depressing. I'm from Orlando originally, so it was like seeing the uh, underbelly of that. But I think the acting was great, and it felt very real. It felt very documentary style. Yeah. And, the, and the kids, even though they were just you know kind of a little much and annoying sometimes, I thought it was. It felt very much like what kids would be doing, and like reminding me of my childhood, going yeah. out and exploring and making the best of what they had because they didn't have a lot. Um, and I, I, so I really enjoyed that and, and I'm very excited about the next couple of movies coming out because it's been a while since I've seen some movies too, just because yeah. of my schedule and there's some good ones coming out. Looking at artist, album, or song, who are we thinking? Yeah, I don't really, yeah, Rihanna. For me. Rihanna? And Chris yeah. Brown. Um, I gotta get crucified <laughs> oh, for that. The new Chris new Brown? Album. I know, I was gonna say, I just, so, I can't yeah. support Chris Brown. Yeah. I just no. find him such, 37, I can't. 37 songs on what? this new album. Oh yeah. my yeah. God. And most of them are good. Uh, You're kidding. I know, I'm shocked by that because I didn't. It felt like no press. I didn't hear anything about it. It was like how we all feel about you. You know what I mean? Yes, about Chris Brown. Yeah. (laughs) Just here for the tunes, man. That's (laughs) what it is. Exactly. Me too. (laughs) Um, Wait, what about that song that I really love? Uh, Bloody Shoes about Oh, Bodak Yellow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a real anthem. Just playing that in the car. And that's truth right there. Yeah, thanks for Cardi B. Yeah. Um, I'm like such a freaking cliche on this show. I talk about the same stuff, but I'm really thankful for Britney this year. Well, you know, um, Britney, you know, the thing about her, her too Instagram is that she's Instagram. just, yeah, she's just, you know, she's, re- she's like better than ever. Uh, better than she ever. She went through that low point in life. Yes. And she really is. And she's come back. She looks amazing. She's out there. She she's is, doing yeah. stuff. And yeah. that's sort of like the redemption stories we all like to see. The people that kind of, kind of hit a rock bottom and they've turned it back around yeah. and are better than they so we can knock ever down were. And yeah, she exactly. is, <laughs> she's one of those people that I can just put out her music and it elevates me automatically. Like yeah. it just, she's one of the few that I can do that with that. I can listen to the song, same song like six times in a row and not be sick of it. And, um, you know, it's been a stressful year it and sometimes I have to just put her on it and she's been the one that has helped <laughs> yeah, me the most. song that's like your, you know, 
Um, all all those, I'm all the singles, you know, like basically like the the Toxic originals slave. work oh, bitch. Yeah, yeah, work bitch. Who I have not that. done a group fitness class where they haven't played work bitch. <laughs> I know that's it's true. A <laughs> it's a staple. It is. It's a, yes. Yep, that is true. Let's look at what we are not thankful for. Uh, <laughs> what I prefer <laughs> to see what we're not vibing with. And, um, first of all, celebrity couple or celebrity. I have so brought, I have mm-hmm. brought highlighted evidence about why I do not like the certain person. Some of you have asked Barbara Walters is who I am not thankful for. <laughs> Some things never change. Wawa. Wawa, yeah. Um, more because of this recent thing with um, Corey Feldman. She has a recent thing? I know. I didn't know she had a recent thing. I mean, I know the Corey Feldman. Well, it's stuff, an old but, interview. But it's an old. What yes, happened? Yes, but it's come, she interviewed him and she, you know, asked him about the, the pedophilia that he was alleging happened to him and, and in the industry. And um, in the interview, she said, well, you are... You're you're questioning an entire industry, <laughs> <laughs> and um, she's like you know very accusatory of him, and yeah. you know now it's coming out that he's creating this documentary mm-hmm. and that this really is a real thing, mm-hmm. and that she seemed to have appeared to have shut him down in this interview. Well, um, producer and cockroach Bill Getty of the four of the View, <laughs> and li- permanently living up Barbara's ass. I can't stand him. <laughs> Has a podcast. Oh, I don't want to live there. Yeah. Has a podcast called, oh, get ready. It's really real. Getty Done. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> yes. And he says that. Um, oh, God. He said that, uh, in fact, Walters uh, brought up the thorny subject in the first place. And he says, quote, you should know that this didn't happen without Barbara digging into it. Barbara exposed all this. Barbara made this happen. Typical, typical, wow. typical. She didn't do anything. Right. She shut him down. Wow. And he says, oh, well, you have yeah. to watch the whole interview to see. Well, I went. I looked at that full interview. I could not find that full interview. It is not on. It was only the right. clip. It mm. was only pulled out. So I don't need to watch the whole interview to see her look at him crazily and then quickly change the subject. Mm. So um, he said that she just wants him to understand the depth of what he's saying. And that's why she questioned him. B.S. I, oh, I can't God. stand her. I thought, so she was, I thought she was off for good. You know, I really I did, did too. I know, but you know, I can't believe that. she's alive. That's, that, that's yeah. what I was saying. I'm like, what do you mean? And I've forgotten about the interview. So pissed, that was Barbara. Like, I'm, yeah. I, I just have to. While I'm here, I have to give you your own award, the Barbara Walters Award. I'm giving it to you right now. Announcing the recipient for the Barbara Walters Award for not knowing when to hang it up. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't. She never will know when to hang it up. Even even not even giving the interview. Years later, and right. she's still in my face. She's still around, yeah. Still, I can't. It's been years that Grant has been had a thing with Barbara. I get it. It's a serious view. Yeah. I don't know if she knows it, but I know it. Oh, she knows. <laughs> I'm watching. Anyway, all right, I can't go on. I'm a celebrity, uh, uh, you're not thankful for Scott. Well, there's so many, you know, and again, it kind of goes back to what we're talking about earlier with the sexual harassment thing, and it's like mm-hmm. the Brett Ratners of the world and all the other mm-hmm. kind of. Uh, Kevin Spacey, I think, yeah. like the the way he he handled all that was just terrible. Um, when those when those when that came back, you know, with anything rap stuff, and it was just you know his quote, um, and then basically coming out, I think, was the worst Ugh. way of doing it because it brought back the the worst possible stereotypes totally mm-hmm. to the surface, and they just sort of brushed it off. I thought it was just horrendously handled, and I think hopefully his publicist that ever said that is fired. Um, cause that's not yeah. how you handle mm-hmm. something like that. Um, it was just really, really, really poorly. Handled. Ugh, not thankful for Kevin Spacey. No, not. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a shame, you know, yeah. that, 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 you know, the worst kind of base, uh, stereotypes are brought out with that too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Jeffrey Tambor is so disappointing that he's part of this scandal. I know. I'm I know. Like, I know. It makes me so sad. I love him. Me I too. love what the show has done, me and too. it's just really upsetting. That was, yeah, that yeah. was definitely there too. I was, I was really sad because I was just listening to that on the car ride over here and just thinking, like, it's just so sad. Uh, I know. Because of somebody that I just felt like was look, above that. Yeah. And was such a good actor and was bringing such an important part of society to light in, in a way that it's just it's a very crushing mm. yeah for sure yeah well what about television shows not thankful for in tv <laughs> anything on cw not just <laughs> <laughs> i was not thankful for oc housewives i love this the show either. but just not the season no nah, well that's the thing too it's like I, i'm almost like is the sh- has the show on its course now is it just like uh, do you just have to either start over I, I don't know i just feel like it's tired 
So I was definitely not thankful for the season either, but I'm also the point where I'm not so much thankful for the show. It had a good start. It was the first one back mm-hmm. in 2006. You know, mm-hmm. so it really had the beginnings of what became this franchise and really re- pretty much brought Andy Cohen, like, yeah. his current, you know, mm-hmm. fame. So, you know, did a lot, but it kind of feels tired now in general. Yeah. Well, I was, I was, if anybody watched Kathy Griffin's Tell All about mm-hmm. Andy Cohen, that was disappointing to hear. What did she <laughs> say? In her, I did you her yeah. Yeah, I We talked show. about it on this show. Yeah, yeah. he, uh, Just, she alluded to him, like, drug use and stuff like that. Yeah. Offering her coke and kind of pressuring her, mm-hmm. making her feel uncomfortable. Wow. Also just being a terrible producer. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, I was disappointed. Fox News, just like bad television. <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah, just not thankful get rid for the network. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I wish. I w- you know, they were talking about having a sale with... Uh, you know, Fox, uh, it, you know, Comcast was even mm. in a couple other places. I was like, please, somebody buy Fox News and, like, get rid of it. Just, yeah. just, you know, just it's just it's propaganda. Time. It's state propaganda. Yeah. It's, it's lies. horrible. It's horrible. It's, horrible. it's absolutely horrible. And it, it has affected an entire generation of people now. Yeah. It has. And um, it legitimizes it's... people that should not be no. legitimized under any circumstance. I'm so against it. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's, I agree. I wish that would just go away. Yeah. That's horrible TV. Yeah. For music artists, I'm uh, you know I'm sticking with the same things. I'm not thankful for Nicki Minaj this year. <laughs> I'm not. I've never been thankful for her, but she's always in whatever feud she's going to be in, and sometimes it's comical in a sense. But you know, I'm just tired of her. Like she's, I, I've I, there's certain songs I really like, and then she jumps on them and it's just really obnoxious, and it's just not. It ruins a song for me. Like there's some great, there's a great Fergie song that I like that she's on, and then others and what is she in she's in um a song with britney <laughs> till the world ends and the remix and i just can't with her oh no 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 that would totally no she couldn't have done that that's wrong so i'm just no with her i'm just really tired of the whole thing with her so i'm not mm. thankful for her because she's too overexposed i can't stand overexposed people with big egos yeah, yeah. yeah. that don't you know? really have legitimate like talent yeah and an yeah. honorable mention i'm really not thankful for nene lakes either but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. especially yeah. after those comments about telling someone to go get raped i mean come on yeah idiot was, uh all i have to say is i'm not and this is a flip but i'm not thankful that tom petty died because i mm. was going to go to the hollywood bowl the week before he passed away and uh, then you you know like oh no i'll go see it next time kind of thing because yeah. the ticket prices were expensive and now i'm just so bummed because wow. it's from florida from the town that I went to college and wow. you know I kept thinking like oh that'll be a fun one to go and then he passes away the next week and I'm like oh wow um, yeah. so I'm not thankful because it was too soon he was, he was pretty young and, and incredible talent and uh, so that's a bummer yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So what about you seven music thankful I mean not thankful I'm not thankful for Taylor Swift I don't oh, God, get it yeah. I'm sorry but mm-hmm. I just can't yeah. get behind it I agree with that. I can oh, cherry, I can cherry yeah. pick songs, oh, but that's about it. Uh, yeah, one of her. I was listening to one of her songs on the ride down here too, and I was like, eh, it's okay." But you had a really yeah. long ride down here. I do. <laughs> I come from. The, I did. I come from the valley, and it takes like an hour, so I had plenty of time. <laughs> You're caught up on all the latest I news. Do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, what about uh, films? For me, this was very easy. I'm not thankful, and I didn't see it. I don't have to. <laughs> Daddy's Home 2 oh, with oh, Mel yeah, Gibson. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Who the Why? hell greenlit this show? <laughs> I mean it. Who? I mean, like, really, though. He's sitting there in front of the front, front row in the Oscars, and now all of a sudden all is forgiven in this year of truth. Yep, you're so right. And right. now we have to go. Not only is he in a film, we have to laugh it up with Mel no. Gibson. Yep. It's a joke nope. now. Absolutely. Nope. I won't be spending my money on that one. For no, sure. I hope that movie does poorly. It's already been out, but... No, I actually had to look it up too because I was like, "Who produces is Paramount?" Uh, so yeah, there's mm-hmm. yeah, there's too many. Oh, God, I had to Daddy's about. home too. The whole concept yeah. is stupid. Never mind yes. adding in Mel Gibson. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah, not terrible. I, mean, I won't be able to see it. I mean, there's so many movies I have to go look up now to be like all the ones I wouldn't see yeah. because they're so terrible. Are we all not thankful for the same movie? Well, <laughs> well it's definitely on my list for sure. Well, One movie that I saw and I had to leave because I was like, this is somebody masturbating while they're directing this film. It was about like a deaf guy and a deaf girl. And it was basically a silent film. And I was like, come on, it's 2017. I think you're, I can't remember what it was called, which is not helpful. Well, if you walked out, yeah. I def- walked out. You definitely were thankful for that film. I couldn't do anymore. 
Wow, that's that had to be really bad. The I mean, thirty I, I, minutes I was there, I'll yeah. never get back. It takes a, it takes a lot for me to walk out because then you keep thinking like, okay, I put the time in this already, and yeah. then if it's terrible, I can walk. So that's like fourteen dollars. Yeah, really bad. That's what I'm saying. It had to be really, yeah. really yeah. bad to walk out. It was a screening. That's why I felt more. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not thankful for yeah. that. Though. Still have to drive there. So yeah. yeah, yeah, you're still inconvenienced. Yeah. Still inconvenienced. <laughs> yeah, still ruined your schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what are you not thankful for in film? Mm. Well, I saw Dunkirk, and on the one hand, I thought it was Ugh. it was well done, but it didn't. I'm not thankful for it because it, it didn't add anything to my life. Like it's it not appealing to me at it's all. Not appealing. It's just it's just so dark like anxiety, and ugly. And, that's that film. Yeah, uh, no, I definitely don't need any more anxiety no. in my life, especially with paying for it. No. no. Exactly. I think no. I'm just not thankful for all the sequels that have come out. I think that was part totally. of the reason why the box mm. office, like we're talking about with TV, you know, why the box office didn't do as well this year is that, you know, people will go see movies if they're good. You know, you keep hearing about, oh, the movie industry, it's dying. People aren't going to go out and see stuff. If they're good movies, people will go out. And the thing is, Putting out tired sequels yep. and trying to depend on those in the summer is lazy. And it is. there yeah. are so many great creative people out here. And the thing is, is that, you know, these studios are too conservative and don't want to take any risks. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. they go with the same tired old stuff. But that's the problem is they're tired. They're old. People are tired of seeing those same sequels. And yep. they want something new and fresh. And that's why you saw the box office drop a lot. So I'm not thankful for the sequels. Want some new creativity. Thankful for all the great indie movies that are coming out and that it's kind of getting close to the Oscar time now. So really good, solid movies are coming out. So on the flip side, I'm thankful for that, but not thankful yeah. for lazy studios that don't want to take risks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Give us more of the same. Amen. Well, that'll bring us full circle here on the podcast on what we are not thankful for. Thankful for the fall TV shows that none of us care about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Oprah's favorite things. I don't know. Would any of you purchase anything on that list just to bring it full circle? Maybe the actual The Sorbet Maker. I, I might, I might, you I might, might actually. Yes, because it was $50. I'm like, okay, I could make something, you know, make some healthy desserts. Yeah. Maybe. I can't think of anyone uh, that maybe. would want anything. Uh, um, I, that's a maybe, though. <laughs> yeah. There's a monochrome bike. I just learned how to ride a bike. So but it was like $1,200, though. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of lifestyle that I'm trying to find. <laughs> well, yeah, those are those bikes that are supposed to be very light. Like, those yeah. are cool. So, yeah, yeah, I have those. Are cool. Somebody had taken a picture of there lifting it up. On yeah. On their Instagram. Yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, thank you for ranting with me, all of you guys, today. And really quickly, what, would, what do you want to promote, and where can we find you guys? Starting with you, Scott. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at SMAN80. That's SMAN80. And you can always watch me troll Donald Trump. Trump and Kellyanne Conway and all the crazy Republican politicians. And I'd also just promote the three travel shows uh, that they're fun and anyone can watch at any time. Uh, Saturday morning on NBC is The Voyager and ABC Ocean Tracks and Vacation Creation. And you did an interview for Access Hollywood. Did you want to talk about that? Oh, yes. The the Access Hollywood interview came out really well. And I think it was very important. uh, We didn't even get to talk about that with TV. Uh, Just talking about, you know, how lifestyles can be a little bit different. And, um, being gay is is something I wanted to hopefully bring out to the forefront of, you know, it wasn't scandalous and talked about my mom, you know, mm-hmm. being with a woman. And um, I think uh, I think the, the interview came out very well and what I wanted it to be. And that is to be like, it's not sensational. People have different mm-hmm. families and different types and different backgrounds, mm-hmm. but we're all. It came across that way. Love yeah. Love and, and so I think that was very successful. So I'm I'm happy that Access Hollywood did do that in, in the way that it needed to happen um, instead of trying to make it over the top. And yeah. Crazy. I'll link that interview to the information yeah. surrounding this, infer- this, uh, this episode. Yes, yeah, it aired on November 1st. Um, so hopefully, yeah, people can still find that too. Yeah. That would be great to link that. Great. All right, Sam, what about you? You can find me on Instagram, Samuel Cart, Cart with a K. I have up to 300, 400 followers now. Uh, yeah, please be do. another. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that's really it. That's, I don't do other social media. So. Well, maybe I can get you to do a full show here because I'd like to have yeah. everyone to do like their own yeah. individual. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, the, the new year, you know, yeah. God willing, let's do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Marissa. Um, Follow Double G Films on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. That's my production company. And there's going to be a lot of stuff coming up up about our film, Lost and Found in Cleveland. And there's an article that uh, taught, it's an interview on the film. So that's on the website. Great. We're done. Please leave. I'm asking you to leave. All 
right. Well, thank you guys so much for the, the good show. I appreciate it. And uh, enjoy your Thanksgiving. I hope this made someone's commute a little bit easier listening to the show. Uh, we've got a great show coming up next. And uh, then we've got the end of the year Christmas spectacular episode of Grants Grants, which is in full effect of being planned. So get ready. All that and more on Grants Grants. I love you for listening. There are more rants to come. This has been Grant's Rants. Support the Rants on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter at It's Grant's Rants. Cover art created by Howie Rone. Voice over by Aw oh Yeah. Original theme music composed by Alexander Arntzen. The Grant Michael Collection.